over a year ago now, James Cameron admitted that he was considering a Terminator reboot. So where are we now? What will it look like? And what are the chances it can happen? Welcome to Sidetrack, your sci-fi TV and movie channel. Terminator is one of the great franchises of real Hollywood history. Terminator 2 is one of those rare, beautiful moments where the sequel is actually better than the original. And the original's bloody brilliant. James Cameron, we all know, is an absolute genius when it comes to these big, spectacular movies. And they are blockbusters. But blockbusters with real heart, intelligence and substance, which again, is quite rare. So what is he actually planning for Terminator 7? Well, in a couple of interviews since that first announcement back in November 2022, he has talked about how this will be a potential complete reboot. We also know Arnie will not be returning. Yay. I'm going to actually tell you who I think should be the new sort of Terminator. And it's obvious if you think about it, but I'll come back to that in a couple of minutes. James Cameron has already talked about how this will be sort of AI again, but a sort of more modern telling of artificial intelligence, an updated version of that, sort of more in line with what we are actually all experiencing today with the rise of AI in the real world. He actually said once or twice, he's taking his time with this because he kind of wants to get a feeling of how AI is going to actually impact the real world over the next couple of years. And then to use that to inform his new storyline. So would this be a complete reboot? Well, the way the Terminator franchise works with all the time travel and etc., it would actually be very easy to create a complete reboot, a complete reimagining without actually ignoring all of the previous iterations of the Terminator. We've kind of already seen that a little bit where of the history that we'd seen in the early movies then kind of got changed by events in the whatever movie was coming along. And they would stop the rise of the machines and they would just rise up in a different way instead. So it is possible that he could create something that was actually respectful of what had come before, but at the same time, completely new. This wouldn't necessarily have to be a sort of hard reboot. It could just be something different. Now, if somebody's going to do that and think of a way to do it, I actually think James Cameron is probably the person. And he clearly, over many interviews, shows his love for this storyline. Now, Dark Fate didn't work. Now, even though James Cameron was involved as a producer for Terminator Dark Fate, it didn't work. There were lots of problems with that movie, if I'm honest. And um, even getting the original characters back didn't save it. It cost about $200 million to make, and it did take about $260 million. And it came out in October 2019. Once you actually consider all the distribution costs, etc., the movie actually lost $120 million at the box office. And even though critics and audiences, to be honest, agreed that this was a much better iteration of Terminator than we've seen in the last couple, it was still not good enough. If you like the video and you like getting exclusive news about the biggest sci-fi projects in Hollywood, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification and leave a comment. It really helps us with those pesky little YouTube algorithms. So the new Terminator movie, Terminator 7, would be a reboot. It would be a slate wiped clean. It would be James Cameron in control from the beginning. And no Arnie, to be honest, is a good thing. Arnold Schwarzenegger has always stood head and shoulders above the franchise. He, in lots of ways, has been bigger than the franchise and the obsession about bringing him back for virtually every Terminator movie really has become a problem as he's got older. Now they've used some very clever CGI etc to do some very clever moments in the last couple of Terminator movies but the fact that his character has constantly returned particularly in the last two has felt awkward. It is time to separate Arnie from the Terminator franchise. Now, 
I know they tried this before when they brought us Terminator Salvation. Christian Bale and Sam Worthington really did give us something very different in the Terminator franchise. And I actually have to say that Terminator 1 and 2 aside, Terminator Salvation for me is the best of the Terminator movies. I actually wish we'd seen a bit more of that. Following Terminator Salvation, then we went back into Terminator 5 and Arnie was back. And to be honest, it just felt tired. Terminator Genesis really just personified why Arnie shouldn't have been in these movies anymore. And I'm really surprised he came back for pigging another one with Terminator 6. So who do I think should be the new Terminator? Because I think there's an actor out there right now that just personifies this character. He walks like the character. He's pretty big. He's pretty strong. And to be honest, he would be a terrifying Terminator T anything. Alan Richson plays Reacher in the series currently over on Amazon. And to be honest, every time he walks into a room and every time he throws a punch and every time he does anything, I keep thinking, God, he looks like a Terminator. If actually in the third season of Reacher, if he gets like hit and you like see and you see a flash of steel underneath, I wouldn't be surprised. I just think he'd be absolutely brilliant if they bring back this franchise. He is an actor whose star is rising. I actually think Jack Reacher should spawn a couple of movies. If Amazon have got any sense, they're thinking about it. And then I think this actor will probably be looking for a big movie role. And why not as the Terminator? He would be absolutely perfect, in my opinion anyway. But what are the problems? What is stopping the Terminator 7 from happening? Well, there's a couple. For one, the rights of the Terminator is quite complicated. Warner Brothers have dipped their toe in it, Sony have, and so is Disney. So, who owns the rights to the Terminator? It's a little bit complicated. The other issue, I don't know if you've noticed, but James Cameron's quite busy. He's kind of promised us, I think it's about 23 Avatar movies, if I'm right. You know, it's like, yeah, at least 20. Um, I'm not doing this, I think it's, what is it, five? I don't know. But we're going to be getting that, and those movies are quite time consuming. So even though James Cameron is working on this, and he is a potentially working on a script now, no studio has actually stepped up and no studio is willing to actually try to figure out the rights issues. But it's James Cameron. At the end of the day, after Avatar, pretty much the only movie since Amazon, other than maybe Barbie, that's really had a massive impact at the box office. If he wants to do this and he has a script, I would say it's almost certain to get made. At some point, I think we're going to be seeing Terminator at the cinema once again, a completely new version, but with the master at the helm. Now, that will be something I want to see. But guys, get into the comments, tell me what you think. Is this one of those franchises that deserves another go? Or actually, is it had more than enough chances? We had a brilliant opener and then an even better sequel. And then we've had five movies of various levels of disappointment. Has that really been enough? Has it had enough of an opportunity? At the end of the day, if you give something enough chances and it fails, at some point you let it go, right? Or is this a franchise too big to fail? And at the end of the day, if James Cameron wants to do it, surely he's earned the right. Get into the comments and tell me exactly what you think. If you are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. It really helps us out and you'll never miss any of our new videos. Also, you can go to patreon.com forward slash sidetrack where most of our new videos do premiere first and you get to see them without the adverts, you lucky bunnies. Finally, you can go to sidetrack.co.uk, which is our dedicated website where we do articles based on most of our videos and we try to add a little bit more information for you to digest. Go check it out. As always, please stay safe and I'll see you next time character has always sort of stood big and his character of the Terminator is already really <laughs> his character finally you can go to sidetrack.co.uk which is our dedicated website where we do articles based on most of our videos and you get to see them without the 